All right, Jack. That means that Nebraska kicks it off here with Chris Brown, a very talented, long-range kicker. And we will see what kind of depth he gets in this weather. Beautiful. It'll come out on the 20-yard line. They will open up with a tight end to the right side of the formation, and then Detmer will change the call. But he wanted Troutman to stay right there. Having trouble hearing, Troutman squeezes a couple of yards out of the middle of that offensive line. Terrell Farley, their great linebacker, is gone. He's suspended and will not play today. It means that they will have to replace one of the best players on that defensive front. Play fake Detmer hit on the release. That's how little time he has against this defense. Now two tight ends for Colorado. Third down and long. Detmer gets his time and passes to the near side over here to the 32-yard line. And that will be enough. So the ball is on the Colorado 32-yard line. First down, Buffalo. Troutman, hole on the left side, and he bursts through for seven yards. Using Troutman on a draw play, big hole again, and it is close to midfield for another Colorado first down. They go with a slot left, double tight end, and they hang in here with Troutman on a play fake. Detmer getting time, fires complete to the 36-yard line. There he was only hurried on the one in completion. And on first down, here's Troutman picking his way. And that time he was jammed up, perhaps a yard, but certainly nothing more than that. Here comes second and nine for Detmer and the Buffaloes. Sticking with the two tight ends to help out on the blocking. Detmer short oh. drop, fires complete, and he's coming right back into Anderson's hands. Short drop again, deflected, incomplete. That was Hess, number 44, the middle linebacker who is there defensively. Aldridge is in as the kicker. Jeremy Aldridge gets the first call. The first so two Heisel makes a change, and Rosca puts it down, and he goes after the 45-yarder, hits, and goes across. The first bounce goes for the Buffaloes. He hit the crossbar and it bounced over. A 45-yard field goal. It's 3-0 Colorado. Is luck be a lady tonight. This is D'Angelo Evans, the talented freshman from the 14-yard line, and he will give Scott Frost and the Nebraska offense decent field position at the 26-yard line. Certainly Colorado and Nebraska fans remember the first play from scrimmage a year ago in Boulder when Amon Green took off for a touchdown. He gets the call, no touchdown this time, and not much doing. Black, the safety up tight for Colorado. Option, Frost, late pitch. Green slips in the water. Rosga took the pitch man, but Green slipped down at the 32. No tight end. It's a three pack, and they run the option out of it. They put the ball back in Green's hands, and a great tackle, fumble! Colorado has got it over here on the 35-yard line. Buffaloes recover on the game's first turnover. Now the Colorado coaches make a change. They load with a fullback. They have Fisk, and they're going to isolate and try to get something going with Farley gone and the black shirts, as the Nebraska defense is called, swarm all over him that time. Now in a passing formation, Neuheisel with one tight end and one running back. Detmer will step to the left, no time. Gets it off, incomplete as he turned back. And there's the penalty flag. And it is second down and five. So we've had three breaks in this game. A field goal, bounce over the crossbar, an early turnover by Nebraska. Now a face mask penalty makes it second and five, and Troutman 
blast through, strong running for the first down. Moving a whole pile, the young man from Naples, Florida, gives Colorado a first down. Nebraska presses defensively, and Troutman is hit right away by number 93, Jared Tomich. Second down and 13. Play fake Troutman, Detmer with time, in zone, and it's broken up. It was broken up by Ralph Brown. Third down and 13. A three pack to the right. And the tight end, this formation as they go empty, puts everybody on the right side. Offensive line holds, snap, throwing complete. And that was number 22 again, Ralph Brown. And it will not be his last. It's 6-0 as Jeremy Aldrich puts two field goals on the board. But Nebraska breathes a sigh of relief that they didn't give up a touchdown. Colorado needs a little more depth on the kickoff if they can get it here. And this one is a little deeper. Evans back at the three-yard line. They push him to the middle. And Evans, the freshman running back from Kansas, out to the 25-yard line. Number two, Damon Wheeler, the freshman corner's in there, Brent. And Bennings, the running back. And there's a penalty flag thrown on the play. Well, it's first and 15. Tim Carpenter is the tight end. He is to Frost left. Again, three wide receivers and the whistle sounding before the snap. It is first and 20. The Colorado spreading them out now with a three receiver look. And Jeff Lake is off to the left. Frost wanted to run, slip, now regains his balance and makes a good gain. Looked like a bit of a disaster when he quickly slipped, but he ran out to the 28 yard line. The tight end to the left, they can option either direction if they want to. Frost wants to throw high and complete. And that could be a situation where the wet ball got the better of Frost that time. They'll run a double tight end formation. Benning still the tail. They run him on the draw into the middle. Broke a tackle, but he appears to be just short of that first down. Nunez set to return Jesse Cush's punt. Cush is an interesting story. He has studied meteorology here in Lincoln, and so he had the last weather forecast and said we could expect some of this rain to turn to snow. Takes a bounce on Nunez, fielded at the 19-yard line by the freshman. Nothing doing. He'll go right down at the 16-yard line. So now the Buffs come up, leading by six in Lincoln, where the Cornhuskers have won 35 straight games. Troutman, the running back. Detmer on first down, deflected, intercepted! Number 56 scores! That is Jay Foreman on the deflection. And just like that, the Huskers have tied it. And Brown for the extra point to put Nebraska ahead. Like that. They like what they saw against Danny Werfel and the Gators in particular. And this one will not be returned. Detmer with a first down. His tight end is over to his left. They run to the strong oh. side, and Peter is just off to a monster. They he are just... not blocking 55. And Peter is playing right next to Tomich. Jason urging the crowd on. And Minter comes up to that linebacking spot on the right side of the defense. Movement now by the left side of the offensive line. Now they spread him out. Now Peter moves over to the right defensive tackle and there's movement again. Detmer changing up and Nebraska like an NFL team changes right up with him. And Minter now slips back out. Troutman is hit from behind. Wistrom was coming off that side and they're not blocking Wistrom over there either. 
Jamel Williams is over on the right side. Here comes the blitz. Menner and Williams, they're all over Detmer. They bury him at the 18-yard line. Minter up on the left side. Huskers press again. Here comes Williams downfield. Detmer goes incomplete. Hefner is tied in, and there is a penalty flag. The Husker defenders know about this closed end, and they have been urging the crowd to stay alive. The blitz, Jamel Williams chasing Detmer, got him on the release. It was Williams coming from the blind side. Allows the punt. Under the pressure, and McFarland fields it at the 43, almost in slow motion when he made the catch. Now Frost and the Huskers. Thanks to the great Nebraska defense, the Cornhuskers lead Colorado by a point. 7-6. Buffaloes kick two early field goals. Option Frost. Got it Pitch clean. man's binning. It's wide open, but there's a penalty flag on the far side. And we see running backs slipping in the sloppy going here in Lincoln today. This, but they still show the tight end over here to the left, the fullback, and now there was movement against Jones, and that was Sheldon Jackson who was getting into it. With the fullback is Schuster. Eight guys He's up. He's in front of Benning. Option, it's Benning, comes clean on Black. He slips, dives forward to the 37-yard line. Second down and four. The Buffaloes back off the wide receivers, and it is D'Angelo Evans, the freshman, his first carry, short of the first down. He'd reached the 35-yard line, and the whistle had sounded on this play after uh, several Buffaloes wanted the football after that, but the whistle had sounded, and he was down. His forward progress was stopped. Got a chance. Steps, spins, moves, and there is why the coaches love his future. What kind of guy can run on this kind of turf? If he reminds you of Barry Sanders, perhaps he should. He broke all of Sanders' rushing records. He's from Wichita, Kansas. They play fake to him. Frost all kinds of time. Goes down to the end zone. Incomplete. The other side of Federal, who had come off the left and turned back to the right. As the rain continues to fall, it has been raining since very early this morning here in Lincoln. Strong to the right. Schuster, the fullback, with his first call behind the right guard, short of the 25-yard line. So we come down to the end of the first quarter. The Buffaloes kicked a couple of field goals, and then Nebraska answered with an intercepted pass by Foreman for the touchdown, the extra point putting them ahead. This the last play of the first quarter. They put it in a Holbein's hands, and he's to the 19-yard line. His first reception of the day, and the first quarter comes to an end. Nebraska, a three-touchdown favorite, leads by a point, 7-6. It is fourth and two. And from this field position, with a one-point lead, you always have to be mindful of the fake. Now, Vedral is a young man who can run the option. The kicker, Chris Brown, is not just a kicker. He's a one-time high school quarterback, and he's a fine all-around athlete. If they come up with the option in this situation, the pitch man would be Brown. But on the other hand, he's also a very good field goal specialist. There comes the option. Federal keeps it. It's open all day long. Federal first down, Cornhusker. And Federal did an outstanding job of indicating that he was going to put the ball down before he took off. They're not he was extremely up. patient on that fake. Schuster's the fullback, the freshman Evans. Frost the option, a good runner. Keeps it, slips inside, and he's down at the two-yard line. Muscle up front, two tight ends. Power look in the backfield. The freshman to the right side, Evans. And he stopped at the two yard line, cutting off his block, and Ryan Olson. So, so Federal is off to the right, and now he steps in motion. Frost, play fake, gonna throw, and he's sacked at the 14 yard line. Matt Russell. They won't get much of a rush this time. Yards on the attempt. It's good. See what that did? No rush at all. He said, hey, you got me one time. You're not going to get me the second time. <laughs> Browns field goal boosts Nebraska to a 10 to 6 lead. We'll be right back. And now somehow Colorado must find a way 
to block that defensive front. First things first, they look for the return here on the kickoff. And they won't get one. Three times in a row. So Welsh and Thomas will try to tackle. Troutman and Hess brings him down at the 29th. First half, time remaining. Nebraska with the lead. Carruth is slotted to the left. Detmer looks in that way. Comes now to the wide man, Anderson. Fumble! And Anderson goes back after the football. He had the first down. Ball came loose. And Anderson pounced on it. It is a first down, Colorado. It is tough going for a road team in here. Troutman, first down. Peter is lined up opposite Smith this time. Troutman looks at that hole. They did a good job of blocking Peter, and it is a four-yard gain for the Buffaloes. Now Peter is matched against Nioli. They'll drop it off, and Troutman, well-conceived play. They had a strong rush from the left side, and they threw over the end's head, and it's another Colorado first down. So the rain is freezing. We've got sleep falling in Lincoln. It's a first down. Detmer on a play fake. Winstrom was coming, throws long. Caruth intercepted. Drop. That was Brown, and he should have had it off the deflection in and out of his hands. Second down and 10. They pull Nioli. Troutman behind the guard with a hole, and he runs to the 46-yard line. Pressure front. Here comes Minner on the blitz. Deflected. And Colorado is forced to punt as Mike Minter, who has replaced Farley at that outside linebacker spot, does the job again. They can rotate Peach. He's got a little sleet to his back. <laughs> From the 12-yard line, it opens for Fullman. And Fullman slips. He is down at the 22-yard line. And that's where Nebraska will put it in play, leading 10-6 in the sleet in Lincoln. We'll be right back. Nebraska with the lead and the football, and it is the freshman, in case you're wondering about his workload. So therefore, we're seeing a lot of D'Angelo Evans, and he's in there now. He's the pitch man, but Frost will keep it an outstanding runner, and Frost just wheels out to the 45 for a first down. The Cornhuskers feel a little bit snubbed in that area. Regardless, here comes Evans and the freshman Powers to the 48 on first now. He problem which we apologize for, and uh, we will get it fixed here as quickly as we can. Third down and a long two. And on the option, it is Evans, 40-35. Got the angle, they'll push it out of bounds at the 10-yard line. The freshman breaks one for Nebraska, and it'll be first and goal after the 40-yard run. Second down, and Frost changes up at the line of scrimmage. Cheatham is his wide receiver to the right. Evans on a delay, has a crease. Evans, touchdown, Nebraska. Nebraska ups its lead. Remember, if you just joined us, Colorado jumped out to a six-point lead, but then the Huskers woke up, and now it is 17-6 with the freshman Evans squirting into the end zone. Nunez and Stiggers. And this is Nunez, 25 weaves his way out to the 29 but there's a penalty flag thrown on the far side now it's first down for Detmer Colorado in a catch-up mode and they stick with the run Troutman out to the 20-yard line second down and seven there's a slot formation to the left four wide receivers and they run Troutman and Troutman to the 23-yard line Mentor, 
switches over to the weak side of the formation if they're going to blitz on this play. And it's complete to the tight end. And a Color fumble. He's Loose down. ball, but he's down. That is a first down for Colorado as they put the ball in Hefner's hands. And Colorado, I thought when I saw it that it clearly was a fumble. But at any rate, here is Troutman. And that's a two-yard gain. It'll be second and eight. And Big Thomas, the offensive tackle, gets in it downfield. With the two tight ends, they can at least help the tackles throw in pass protection. Play fake, Detmer under pressure, fires high and incomplete. Detmer looking for a play. Nioli is lined up against Peter. Switches, he's got McCarty, but it's short of the tight end. And the stop was made by Eric Warfield, the free safety. Andy Mitchell with his second punt. Fullman back deep, standing at the 10-yard line. He's very dangerous. He had a 62-yard touchdown run this year, a 72 last year. Not going to return this one very far. He's going to let it go. Going to take a Colorado bounce, and it'll be down around the 17-yard line. Yeah, thanks, John. Look at him sitting on the field. You know, nice, warm, sunshiny day down there, Coach. I can remember when back Blackledge used to be tough. <laughs> Here's the pitch now to Evans on the option look. And Evans is hit at the 21-yard line by Ron Merkerson, the junior linebacker. You know, eight people up. Frost on second down, hands to Evans, and Evans is whipped at the line of scrimmage that time. Carl here on ABC, third down and six yards to go. Colorado's defensing in to run the football. Frost is audible. And he pitches to Evans. 25 and down at the 28 yard line. 11 carries, 81 yards, and one touchdown for D'Angelo. Fake by Frost, stands tall, time wobbler, and he hits his tight end for Sean Jackson. Back, it wasn't there, they throw it onside. The handoff from the shotgun is to Evans, and he gives Nebraska a first down at the 41-yard line. He doesn't want anything of a high-risk nature down here to give Colorado an opportunity to score a touchdown or kick a field goal. The shotgun look, and Frost going to go with another wobbly pass. He has not thrown the ball well in these conditions, and that stops the clock with 57 seconds and makes it second down and 10. Now here's four wide receivers. And Frost shuffle. an inside shuffle. Evans to the 49-yard line. And again, he's right at the first down marker. So third down and one, 30 seconds to go. Evans, a first down, continuing to power ahead. Nakavica, the fullback, one of the blockers over there. You know, Matt Russell has really been a thorn in Nebraska's running game inside there. He's done an excellent job of stuffing the stuff right at him. That, and he did it that time and made it bounce over there. They still got the first down, but it wasn't his fault. Now let's see if they give Chris Brown a last second shot. He kind of went the wrong way with pushes it. Pushes the ball, and it is incomplete. The eight-foot shot putter. There's the direct snap. Evans to the 40-yard line. They're going to have to use a timeout now. Third down. And... Frost going to throw it again with that quick complete. There it is. Got to get down and get the timeout called. Got it called. Three seconds to go. That's all they needed. And here comes Chris Brown. 41 yard field goal attempt. Look at that ball. No good. Missed this one. So we have reached halftime here. It is 17-6 in Lincoln. And we will send you from the cold and the sleet down to sunny Tallahassee. John Saunders, take it away. The Huskers offense will get the ball to start the second half. Amon Green forced out with a foot injury, but D'Angelo Evans, the freshman running back, picks it up. And Dick Vermeil can Colorado stick in this game. I think they can if they stay with the same approach, hope for better field position. I think this is a big series right now. If they can come out and play real good defense, that defensive team has only given up 10 points so far. Fielded a yard deep. Should have stayed in there. Should have stayed out. in there. And he does get it back.
to the 20 yard line. Colorado players on defense Jack to start the second half. They played well on defense overall. Russell number 16 at that linebacking spot in particular has been a force. And the fullback Schuster runs to the left side of the offensive line and they were able to take care of Russell that time. Second down and short a double tight end formation. D'Angelo Evans on the toss. Runs patiently for a first down and out of bounds at the 33 yard line. Then 10 D'Angelo lined up as the eye back. They switch the tight end over to the left. And they come right back with Schuster. Huge hole for the fullback. Roscoe's in a foot race and Schuster outruns him to the 45 yard line. You know, the Nebraska offensive line. Their ball, both start, offense. First down and 15. Frost keeps it on the quarterback keeper. And he crashes to the 42 yard line. Second down and seven for the Huskers. Evans, the lone running back in this formation, it's slot left and three wideouts. Fires complete, puts it in fumble. Colorado's got it. That, the big play man, Steve Rosga, comes up, and I don't believe the ball ever hit the ground. We'll have to see, but I think it was an interception rather than a fumble recovery. I, now they, Troutman in, and a big moment for the Buffaloes. Troutman, nothing doing, and there was Jason Peter, the defensive tackle from New Jersey, making this big stop. Now it is Coy Detmer bringing motion on second and 10, and he fires the kid. A play we did not see, and he's out to the 43-yard line. This will give Colorado third and short. All right, it's third and three. Detmer's short drop too low. He wanted Hefner. The pass was low. I'm not sure that the ball was catchable. So right now, there's two turnovers and only three points out of it. And penalty flag comes down on the fake. And now on fourth and eight, that changes the odds completely in this situation. And it is fielded by Fullman. Got to play. 35, cuts back at the 40, penalty flag thrown. Fullman to the 44-yard line and a penalty. Schuster, the fullback, set in front of Evans, the eye back, and Rashawn Jackson... And the substitution. Well, substitution infraction. And huddling with 12 players, five yard penalty. <laughs> On almost every play, the Cornhuskers substitute a package of three players. It's usually a tight end and two wideouts. So it looked like he was leaving. They had too many on the field. Got him in the infraction, and it's uh, first and 15. Now Vershawn Jackson flexes over to the left-hand side of the tight end. Big fella, good receiver. But clearly this Nebraska team not polished. End around fake. Evans keeps it. Stretch Russell is right there. Russell didn't bite on the fake, and he rode the eye back down, which again is not a pure passing formation, but this time it will. Down, wobbling down the middle, and double coverage at midfield. That one falls incomplete. Third down for the Huskers. Frost, under pressure, wanted to set the screen through low to Schuster, and Nebraska will punt it away. Jesse Cush, 48-yarder in the first half. He's the meteorology major. Nunez setting out a return to see if he can give him a lift. Bad snap. And the rush good was punt. not on. They were going to set a return. Fair catch, though, on a good punt by Cush at the 35-yard line. Good punt and good poise. Bad snap, hits a turf. How many times have we seen a punter swallow the olive as soon as he sees that bad snap? We've got a lot of olives go down, Coach. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Detmer to throw on first. Wistrom is blocked, and Detmer steps away from trouble and for the first time scrambles and turns it upfield. A brilliant decision by the quarterback who, instead of going out of bounds, took it downfield for another seven yards that brace on his left knee but he sprinted out of trouble gave the Buffaloes a big lift gonna throw again on first down 
incomplete. Was going to throw the slant over here, and that was to number 80, Phil Savoy. He's the player of the year. He lines up at an angle. I thought the defense was offside. Troutman, nothing doing. I thought the man outside. Here comes the penalty flag down. Second down now. Detmer on a short drop. Pressure complete. Goes to the tight end. The middle was open, and they got it past the free safety Warfield to the 21-yard line, and the Buffaloes are in business. They're a double tight end with Troutman, a counter step. Troutman looking for a hole, and Troutman to the 21-yard line off that quick counter step, and then cuts back to the left. Double tight end again. They offset Troutman now to the right. Detmer throws over Peter in zone. Anderson incomplete at the goal line. And that was the freshman Brown defending him there. And Anderson, the big fella, had a crack at it. Third down and four for the Buffaloes. The ball at the 22-yard line. Let's hear the Detmer down. over the blitzer. And Kid can't hold on to the ball. It's incomplete. It'll... <laughs> Gets it up. He's three for three. Three for three. Not bad for a rookie. <laughs> 17 to nine. And the one thing Nebraska fans have to remember, Colorado has been able to hang in this game. He's a wide receiver. And Wiggins over to the right-hand side of him is a young man out of Florida and he looks like he's going to get a crack from the 10 15 20 strong return out to the 28 yard line D'Angelo Evans has replaced the injured Amon Green at that eye back spot two wide receivers solid eight man front Evans to run against it bounces off the first man to hit him and that was Aaron Marshall Tim Carpenter the tight end is to the left side of Frost's formation. Schuster, the fullback, was effective in their first series. He'll lead the way for Evans on an ISO play. And fumble, Colorado. That's the third turnover of the game. Watch Russell, number 16, who is having a huge afternoon. Kid goes in motion. Troutman is the running back. Detmer, Wistrom's got him. Wow, Wistrom throws him down at the 42 and what? a penalty flag oh, delay of the game they took too oh, much man. time another sellout at Memorial Stadium in Lincoln Nebraska with Dick Vermeil and Jack Arute I'm Brent Musburger Nebraska leading but it is 17-9 Colorado with three field goals representing all the points first and 15 Detmer fires Anderson drops it again that is two drop balls by Anderson. Second down and 15. And Minter shows pressure, steps into the hole and backs out. And Hess now goes in. Here comes the backer. Good call against that play. Troutman to the 39-yard line. McCarty is to the left side of the formation. Staying to block. Tomich coming. Throw almost intercepted by Brown. It was not well thrown to Kidd, and Brown, 22, had inside coverage. Mitchell needs a pooch punt here as the Buffaloes hope to play a little field position. Pretty good, pretty good. It's going to be caught by Colorado and downed inside the 10-yard line. And Frost brings him up. Dangerous field position. This is where Arizona State was able to attack early in the season when they upset the Cornhuskers down in Tempe. They hand to the fullback, Schuster, and the Buffaloes were ready. Very conservative look now with the double tight, one wide out, the fullback in front of Evans. Frost brings the option. Pitch dangerous, loose, and Frost loose again. The ball was fumbled a second time as Frost went down to recover it, he recovered the fumble. Frost dove after the ball, and it was still loose. And Dishman was there. Now third and very dangerous. Coming out from their own four. Here's the fullback. And Colorado was ready. They stop him. 
Just short of the five yard line. And so it is three and out again. Let's see if Cush gets the good snap this time. Coming at him. And they pull Ooh, away. What a beautiful punt. Fielded near midfield. They bluff the reverse. That was almost real dangerous. Down at the 49 yard line, Nunez. Now that Nebraska defense, the black shirts, asked to do it again. Tomich and Wistrom, the defensive ends. Minter shows pressure. Now they back it out. Play fake, here comes Tomich. Throws complete. And Hefner, the tight end, is inside the 35-yard line. There's a huge play for the Buffalo. Hess, the middle linebacker, backs back out. And it's Troutman. And he is slammed. After a gain of a yard, nothing doing that time. And one of the things about Wistrom, he never takes a down off. He comes hard on every snap. Second down and 10. They hand off and try to get inside him. And Troutman inside the 35-yard line. Wistrom's at an angle. Comes off the first block. Picked up by the second. Detmer goes in zone incomplete. There's confusion on the sideline. They I don't know if they've got 11 minutes. They men. better call timeout. They better hurry. He's down. Maybe he'll take the five-yard penalty there. He... Dick, in this situation, I'm not sure that the five-yard penalty kills him. No, but what you want to do is get your, your protection all organized Four so you don't get a block. Dead right. ball. Delay the game. It helps. Offense. Yeah, I, I... Hey, this is the championship game. It really <laughs> is. Loser out. Pain no question last about that. Nice, Pooch. Really Hangs get us to it the high day. again. They got to hurry, and they do not. A high bounce into the end zone, coming out on the 20-yard line. Well, here Nebraska leads Colorado 17-9. 2:04 remaining okay. in the third quarter. With the ball on the 15-yard line. So Texas goes to the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship in St. Louis next Saturday, with a record of six and two. Texas Tech and Brian Hansford. They played well against Nebraska into the second half. That team, I suppose, could go to the Aloha Bowl. We'll have to wait and see. Evans could not get off black at the 15-yard line. Second down and 15. The Colorado defense digging in for a stand again. And the pass was complete out to the 20-yard line. Federal. Schuster down in front of Evans. Looking for Holbein, bounces it to him, incomplete. And gonna get a little restless in here. Now he has punted very well. And 40 came across, and one of the offensive linemen flinched. Dead ball, false start, offense. Some of the crowd wanting the Buffs to block a punt. Kush, a good punter. Good snap. They come after him, and he gets it off again. Left Whoa. foots it, and it's a beauty. He drives Nunez back to the 35-yard line. Nunez runs into his own man, and Hessel bringing down at the 32-yard line. Fumble! And they say it's down. They say he is down. First down at 10. Detmer now. And Troutman has to come up a little bit closer, make sure he understands, gets the call, and Minter comes right off the corner from that linebacking spot, but there were penalty flags down. Dead ball, before the snap, false start, offense. Hoping to get on a run. Now Detmer rolls outside Wistrom, deflected, incomplete. That was Jamel Williams, I think, Brent, that deflected that one. Second down. Troutman, nothing doing. Hess was there. Hess got him first, the middle linebacker, who made that big play on the punt team. Number 44. We're through three. The Nebraska defense holds on. We'll return with the fourth quarter after this message. And a word from our ABC station. Okay. 
So we get ready to start the final 15 minutes of regulation with Nebraska leading Colorado 17-9. And Colorado with a third and 17. They go empty in the backfield. Detmer going down. Jamel Williams sacks him at the 20 yard line. So that is the 46th sack of the year by the Cornhuskers and it could not have come at a better time. They, Mitchell standing back on the Colorado five, three deep men. And Fullman will be the middle receiver. Low, low, low. And it will roll dead at the 45. Nebraska, D'Angelo Evans, the freshman, their lone healthy eye back right now, slips through the right side of the line for a three yard gain before Matt Russell makes another stop. Holbein, Brown, Cheatham, and Jackson a tight end. Check in, a shotgun formation. Inside handoff, Evans, and he's going down at the 49 yard line. This will leave Nebraska with a third and four. Now Federal motions out. Jackson to the other side of the formation. Holbein and Federal to the left. Frost looks in that direction. Incomplete. And it. Dick, I'd keep an eye on Wheeler, the defensive back for Colorado in this punt. He's over on the left side of the formation. They've worked a couple of tricks where he has been able to get some daylight in this game. Now he backs off and makes it look like they're gonna go ahead and set a return this time, which they do, but we'll have to keep that in mind. Nunez bluffing into the end zone, coming out on the 20. Detmer and the Buffaloes ready to go again. Troutman, who's gone the distance as their tailback is set behind him. He'll carry again. And it was Jamel Williams. Tomich was being well blocked that time coming to the corner, but they couldn't handle number 28, Williams. He's gone to the Wistrom side now, and Troutman and Tomich coming up, and they sandwich him at the 20-yard line, and down he goes. Third down and nine for the Buffaloes. They show bump and run, Detmer. Fires got over to the far side, he's got Kidd. Kidd's got it at the 40, inside the 40. Kidd will be out of bounds at the 28 yard line. The Buffaloes are in business. First down now, Troutman behind Detmer. Double tight end, slot right. End of rounds coming, and it's a bad play. Oh baby, did they eat Savoy up. Great. That is just handing it to a Nebraska team that penetrates with speed like that. That's a gimme, ladies and gentlemen. 10-23. Now they go empty. Detmer's going to hit Troutman out here in the right flat. Warfield, the free safety, makes the stop at the 42-yard line, and it'll be third and 22. Now Caruth, who's been very quiet, is slotted to the left. Detmer looks right, near side, throws middle deep, and it is picked off, and then taken back, cut. Savoy takes it back away from the defensive back at the 10-yard line. Whoa. What a play by Savoy. <laughs> so it's first down. Fake Troutman, roll right. Detmer, he's got to throw it to avoid the loss. Incomplete, McCarty had bounced on the short hop. And there was that fierce Nebraska pressure again, and it'll be second down and goal. Now Detmer, second down and goal. Savoy is slotted to the left. Fires to Kid high, and Brown deflected it away. It'll be third and goal. It's third and goal. Two tight ends. Kid is out to the right, and Caruth to the left. Going to look for Caruth. Going to work to the corner. Double coverage, and Brown is there again. Brown behind him, Warfield in front of him. He looked back, and Caruth was doubled up, and it's field goal time again for the Buffaloes. Here comes a 27-yarder. Good. Jeez, where's that guy been all year? He's good. Huh? Wow, four for four. A young man from Federal Heights, Colorado, Jeremy Aldridge. He represents the Buffalo points today, and it's 17-12. Time out. Yeah. 
Eight minutes and 46 seconds remain here in regulation. It's a five-point football game. Kicking off for the Buffalo. And Leslie. Jason Leslie. With Wiggins and Cheatham back deep. Picked up by Wiggins. Oh, nice Kirk pop. hits him at the 26-yard line, and down he goes. It's a big football game still ahead of us. Huh? First down and 10 now. Eight people up there. Nebraska has been stifled here in the second half. The toss to Evans, and that's good for a couple of yards. That tight end is to the left. That's Jackson. Holbein's out to the right. Looks oh. sack down, loose ball, fumble, and Colorado jumps on it. Hit from the blind side. And that ball was jarred loose by Navies, and Matt Russell gives him the turnover, and the Buffaloes with a chance now to take the lead. There's a lot of time left in this one. Colorado will see if they can finally score a touchdown in this game. Field position, the 24. Ray Caruth's been held to one completion. Troutman bounces off the first would-be tackler and makes the most out of that. So Second down and seven. Detmer steps up in the pocket, fires high, intercepted. Pass is picked off by Williams on the deflection. Booker was the cornerback. Number 20 deflected it into Jamel Williams' hands, and Nebraska comes right back with a turnover. Nebraska searching for any kind of offense here. Evans, the freshman, couple of yards. And Frost changing Jackson to the left side of the formation on third <laughs> down. Hit Russell, sacks him at the 10-yard line. Frost goes down. Will be standing game. back in the shadow of his own goal, ready to punt again. Came in averaging 45, and he's got to be somewhere around that today. Wheeler on the right side. No, that's not a good one. Nunez going to let it go. It takes a Cornhusker bounce, and then he zips it out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Now they'll try to do it again. Detmer's hit, and it is Wistrom with the sack on Detmer at the 32-yard line. A slot formation to the left. The great Ray Carruth has been held to one reception today. Detmer looks for him. Detmer fires. Caught. No juggle. Incomplete. Caruth had it and then lost it right at the first down marker. Colorado with a tight end to the left is McCarty. Three wideouts. They slot Caruth to the right. Will Detmer look back Let's. for 21? Has to hurry. Hit on the release. Gets it off. Caruth wide open. First down. 35. Out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Here comes Troutman, they don't give up on the run, and Jason Peter doesn't give up on the tackle. So it'll be second down and 11 after that hit. Right. Detmer looks in that direction, has time, receiver's covered. Now comes left, and it's McCarty can't hang on. Just a touch high, he was the fail safe as Detmer looked back in that direction. Third down and 11. Wistrom gets ready at that right defensive end spot. Troutman goes in motion. They're empty. Here comes the blitz. Fire incomplete. Baby, it's dangerous when you go empty on these guys. McBride just steps right in the gaps and comes after you. Just ask Steve Spurrier if you don't believe me. It's fourth and 11. The rain pounding down. 258. Colorado must get inside. The blitz 20. again. Blitz. Fire. High. Incomplete. Nebraska ball. The Colorado defense behind Russell. They've played their hearts out here today. They go with the fullback, Schuster, and he crashes for a pair of yards, perhaps three, out to the 33-yard line. Uh, you'd have to go with Florida. You really would, and Danny Werfel. Second and seven now. Frost runs the option, keeps it. First down for the Cornhuskers. First down at the 44-yard line. Three timeouts remain for Nebraska. Two for Colorado. Fullback, bust free for Schuster. Navies tackles him at the 43, and now the Huskers on the move. 
Nebraska moving into scoring position. There's Evans, the freshman, slips a tackle to the 39-yard line. They don't look like a three-touchdown underdog now, do they? They sure don't. Frost starts the motion, hands to Schuster, and they're going to put it in the hands of the fullback. They feel that he is very sure-handed, more experienced, as the Buffaloes attempt to steal the ball, and now Colorado will use its last timeout, 127 remaining. Got to bring the house. Frost keeps it off the option, battles for the first down. And he made it, I think, Brent. Real close, depends where they put it down. And Colorado unable to stop the clock. They will play in the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship in St. Louis. Should be very interesting, there'll be some Longhorn fans coming up to St. Louis for that one. And of course, these great Nebraska loyalists, they've already, I understand, reserved hotel rooms. They did that earlier this fall. And the Huskers keep themselves at least in contention. They're not favored for a national championship to three-peat, but they're still alive. Tough loss for Rick Neuheisel in Colorado. They played their hearts out, especially on defense, as Osborne goes across the field to seek out his counterpart, Neuheisel. Nebraska wins it, 17-12.